PSA, if your gums bleed, even occasionally, that is never normal and that is never going to be healthy. If someone tells me that, oh, my gums don't bleed that often, that means your gums bleed because your gums should never be bleeding. Bleeding gums is never going to be normal. And if you have bleeding gums, then that most likely means that there is some form of gum disease going on. Imagine if someone says, oh, occasionally when I rub my hand, then it starts bleeding. But it doesn't happen that often, so it's not that big of a deal. That's obviously a concern. No, it's the same thing with your gums. Now, the number one cause of bleeding gums is inflammation. And you get this inflammation in your gums when you have gum disease. So the first and mild form of gum disease is called gingivitis. What happens is you have this plaque or this bacteria that builds up on your teeth. So that stuff that you brush away or when you floss your teeth, that stuff that comes off is called plaque. Plaque is this loose biofilm of this bacteria that builds up on your teeth, but if it's left alone, then it can start to affect your gums because now your whole immune system gets activated to fight off this bacteria. And now having this immune system activated, you start to get this inflammation. This is when your gums can get a little bit more red and a little bit more puffy, and this is when they start to bleed. So the number one easiest way to get rid of this is pretty simple, it's brushing and flossing. But you also wanna make sure you're flossing and brushing correctly. So I recommend using an electric toothbrush, and I actually made another video where I went into detail on exactly what I do every single day at home to avoid getting gum disease and avoid getting a cavity. So I'm putting a link in the description below if you wanna learn more about that. But you wanna make sure that you're brushing at an angle against your teeth. You don't wanna brush flat against your teeth. You wanna angle that toothbrush at kind of a 45 degree angle. So you're also getting that plaque that's right next to your gum line. Because your teeth aren't like rectangles when they meet your gums. They kind of curve in a little bit. So you wanna make sure you're getting that toothbrush to curve in as well, so you're getting all of that plaque away. Now also with flossing, you wanna make sure you're flossing correctly. If you're flossing just straight up and down in between all your teeth, then you're not doing enough. You want to do something called C-shaped flossing. This is basically where you curve that floss into a C-shape against one of your teeth and you actually bring that floss below your gums. This is how you make sure you're getting all that plaque that is also lying underneath your gums. Otherwise, you'll leave that plaque alone and that plaque will fester there and lead to more inflammation. Now, if you're trying to do this at home and your gums are bleeding, that is a sign that you have gum disease going on and you need to keep doing this. Because what happens is as you're cleaning this plaque away, it takes time for that inflammation to come down. So at first, if you haven't done this in a while, then yeah, your gums might be bleeding. But if you keep doing this for two weeks straight, then your bleeding is gonna come way down and it's probably gonna stop. Now, if it doesn't stop, that's a clear sign that you need to go to your dentist because something else could be going on as well. Because if you start to neglect the dentist, then this gum disease can start to get worse and it may progress into something called periodontal disease. Now, periodontal disease is basically gingivitis taken one step further. Now, instead of this plaque and bacteria buildup that's just affecting your gums, now this plaque and bacteria starts to affect your bone. This is why it's so important to go to your dentist regularly to get all this gunk scraped off your teeth because it's not just plaque you're worrying about, it's also something called tartar or calculus. So tartar is basically plaque that has gotten hardened or calcified. And when it gets hardened, it's basically stuck or glued to your teeth. And no amount of brushing or flossing is gonna get rid of that. You have to go get it scraped off at your dentist appointment. Because if this is left untreated and you keep neglecting the dentist, then this periodontal disease can get worse because this tartar buildup continues to get bigger and bigger. And you might not feel like there's a problem, but slowly this tartar and this inflammation is eating away at your gums and the bones that surround your teeth. And over time, your teeth can get looser and looser and eventually you might lose all of your teeth. This periodontal disease will never get fixed at home because usually you need something more advanced than a regular cleaning, you need something called a deep cleaning. Now again, I made another video basically describing the difference between a regular cleaning and a deep cleaning. So if you wanna know that, I'm putting a link in the description below. But basically a deep cleaning is where you have to clean underneath your gums to scrape off all of this tartar so that your bones stop getting eaten away. And this is basically a measure to save your teeth so that your teeth don't all fall out. I get it, a lot of people don't trust the dentist, but it's just silly if you have bleeding gums 
to neglect going to the dentist because you're just asking for problems. And also you're putting yourself at risk for many other diseases as well. Gum disease is linked with heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, pregnancy complications, Alzheimer's, rheumatoid arthritis, cancer, and the list just goes on. Now, another reason you might have bleeding gums, it might not always be gum disease, it could be a dental infection, especially if this bleeding is just happening in one area. Now, if you have a severe form of gum disease, this could lead to chronic infections as well. But also, if you have a tooth infection, then this can lead to some swelling in one particular area, and if that starts to pop or drain, then you're gonna get this pus and potential bleeding in that one area. Now, this could also happen if you have a tooth fracture. Like, let's say you bite into a bottle cap or you get punched in the face and one of your teeth fractures. Then your gums might be bleeding in that one particular spot, but not around your whole mouth. That doesn't mean that you necessarily have gum disease, but you still need to go to the dentist if that ever happens. Now, another reason that you might have bleeding gums that isn't so common now, but used to be common back in the day is a vitamin C deficiency. And if you have a more severe vitamin C deficiency, you can get something called scurvy. This is when all those pirates were depicted as having really rotten teeth and bleeding gums because all of them had a vitamin C deficiency. Because your vitamin C, we know it's really important to prevent you from getting sick, but it's also really important for your collagen. Now your collagen is part of the matrix that makes up your teeth and also your gums. So if you have not enough vitamin C, then your teeth and your gums are gonna get weaker. And also your collagen is important for your vasculature and for your clotting. So if you don't have enough vitamin C, then your blood clotting is gonna be affected, so you're gonna be more likely to bleed in the first place. So if you really truly have scurvy, you're gonna have some other problems as well, but you definitely need to make sure you still go to the dentist to make sure you get all of this stuff checked to see what exactly is going on. Because even if you, let's say, improve your vitamin C intake, then you still have these damaged teeth and these damaged gums that need to be repaired. I'm gonna show you why if something goes wrong in your mouth, how it can affect the rest of your body. So here are seven other diseases that you can get from gum disease. Number one is cardiovascular disease. So research shows that there's a link between gum disease and heart disease, getting a stroke, and other cardiovascular problems. It's thought 